Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the all new Ghost and Spirits news video. Well how about this when it comes to having an update not just on the Zach Baggins Haunted Museum but also having another special event tied to it in this case that's perfectly themed with the whole lockdown slash quarantine stuff. So this bit of news just popped up the other day on my news feed and I was so happy to be able to share it with everyone here. So I'm going to go ahead and describe as much detail as possible. Possible. And then as soon as we get closer to the event, the actual dates associated with this quarantine lockdown, then I'm going to be posting even more information as it updates. But let's go ahead and let's talk about all the good info tied to this new event and then the reasons why apparently this is happening. So the reason I also wanted to do this is because so many of you have seen so many of my videos associated with the Haunted Museum. It's apparently a popular subject that, I've, that I not only have I talked about in several videos, but it's gotten a good number of views as well. So I'll include some of the links for it below if you have any chance to see some of my past videos on it. And then that way you'll get to have a chance to be caught up. I even posted several reviews of it as well because I have visited that location not just once, not twice, but three times in total and each time it just keeps getting better and that's because there's always a revolving set of displays that are there too so once it opens up and everyone is able to finally go back to it if you have a chance I do recommend going to the Haunted Museum if you're going to be in Vegas anytime soon because it's going to be a really good maybe hour hour 15 minutes spent seeing all these amazing artifacts that are there but as far as this new event it's this apparently Ghost Adventures which is of course the show that Zach is in has been there for who knows how long now at least 10 plus years uh, it's going to have a four-part miniseries that's going to be called Ghost Adventures Quarantine so again it's going to definitely take advantage of everything associated with this whole lockdown situation uh, quite a bit of coincidence too like I was just talking about the other day about the Conjuring live stream also mentioning there that the, the people making it are stating that they want to be able to showcase something to everyone stuck at home such as the case here with this new four-part miniseries. So it's going to start on June 11th at 9 p.m. Eastern and then basically every week afterward on the same Thursday, same time, then it'll continue this four-part miniseries. So I imagine it's going to be an hour each. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there hasn't been any mention as to the true time period, but at least based on past Ghost Adventures episode, I don't foresee them staying past an hour and then it'll wrap up on the last week which will be July 2nd and the whole thing will actually be done just by these four guys in this case it's going to be Zach, Aaron, Jay Wasley and then also Billy Tolley who have all been with the show now especially Jay and Billy for a couple you know I think a couple years at least but of course Zach and Aaron since the beginning and this was the most fascinating part when I was reading the information because he's taken advantage of the lockdown and because of the quarantine situation, um, this means that the museum has been closed for a good while now, a couple of weeks at least, um, with everything being shut down in Vegas. So this has given him a good chance to spend, get this, two weeks inside the museum completely locked down. 14 days total, just him and the three other guys there. And they're all going to be spending that time period within that museum itself. When I saw those two weeks, when I saw the 14 days, I was amazed because, of course, I've been there three times now. And the total of maybe three and a half hours here in this case, they're going to be spending 14 whole days. And it's just going to be them, no production crew, as they film certain things associated with the uh, location. It's a big enough place. There's 33 rooms to be, to, be, to be photographed and to be filmed in. So having something done over 14 days, I can definitely see that happening. And then as far as what else they're going to do there, it's this. They're going to take advantage of the fact that apparently they think that this quarantine and all the negativity associated with it is impacting the quote unquote dark energy energies attached to many of the haunted objects there. So when I was reading this information, it seems like they feel, and this is a perfect opportunity again, they feel that if they go in, they're going to get far more activity because these energies are all going to be restless. They're going to be there. They're going to be heightened from all the, all the uh, depression, everything else, all the bad experiences people are going through within Las Vegas and of course throughout the world. 
world. And so these dark energies are going to be basically a prime spot for Zach and a team to visit and go over several things. Not only that, but apparently they're going to bring, uh, at least virtually, you know, using those Zoom features and who knows what other type of of communications, but they're going to have special guests throughout each episode, and it'll encompass not just other paranormal hunters, but also some past tourists, as I was reading some of the information, and then also some tour guides that are there, and it'll be interesting to see who the tourists are and what they've mentioned on there. Uh, it would have been great if they would have asked me to do it. I would have said, absolutely, yes, you know, I'll give my experience as far as to what occurred there, but otherwise, they'll definitely be able to get those in-depth experiences experiences from those other people. Now, the best part, though, is this. I don't know the full details yet, but based on what I was reading, it seems like this. They're going to visit very specific haunted artifacts within the location. And my guess is that they're going to dedicate like a theme within each episode. Like, for example, the Devil's Rocking Chair, one of the newest features within the Haunted Museum. I imagine that's going to be uh, played throughout most of one episode along with probably smaller artifacts and then on another episode they're probably going to do and they say that they're going to focus on Peggy the doll so I don't think like for example the devil's rocking chair and Peggy the doll would be in the same episode because those are big ones those are the big artifacts that everyone wants to see in that location so I imagine that the way it's going to work is they'll have the devil's rocking chair in one episode Peggy the doll in the other one and then mix in some of those experiences I was mentioning earlier and then try to capture evidence surrounding that location. It's perfect because, again, you'll have four episodes to do this, plenty of time to explore those 33 rooms and then mix in the big ones within it. And then, of course, the biggest one of all is this. This was gets me so excited. So I'm going to definitely watch this, and I'm going to try to do another live stream with everyone when this occurs. The Dibbit Box. They're going to focus on the Dibbit Box once again. Remember that Halloween special just last year? That was going to be the big one, too, where Zach was taunting the whole time whether he was going to open or keep the box closed throughout that special. Well, obviously, he left it closed. But in this case, he is stating up front that he is going to finally open the Dybbuk box. In fact, he's going to open it to, quote, understand the scope and power of its energy during this time period. So those of you that are fans of the Dybbuk box, not just of the films, but all the other specials associated with this fascinating box, then this is going to be your opportunity to finally see what's inside it, what's officially inside it. I can't wait for it. When I saw that news, that's going to be very, very exciting. I imagine that's going to be the last episode too. You got to lead things off, obviously, in a big finale. And in this case, saving everything, the Dybbuk box for... The final episode will be absolutely perfect, including, of course, the grand opening of it. So that's going to be a really, really exciting time. And in fact, here's some quotes directly from Zach as far as everything and the reasoning for this type of, of special event, this four-part special event. He says, this is by far the most intense investigation and in enough experience we have ever done. Considering the whole tone of doing a lockdown within a pandemic lockdown, it's as raw and terrifying as it gets. Fear gives entities power and fear is now permeating our society on a scale we haven't experienced before. And so we are witnessing the amount of spirit activity greatly increase. And we need to understand how this unprecedented situation affects things on a supernatural level. This led us to finally open the Dybbuk box, a moment that will live with me forever. He made it sound like he's already filmed this stuff. And obviously this is being edited now for the next couple of weeks but if that's the case then that's perfect like in this uh, like this the footage is already there now it's just waiting for us to be able to see it afterwards so doesn't that make y'all guys excited all you fellow ghost hunters out there all you ghosts and spirits fans when it comes to this event four-part miniseries ghost adventures quarantine again this is starting on june 11th 9 p.m eastern um on my time it'll probably be eight central unless the times change later on and then it'll air weekly every thursday up until july 2nd i'm definitely going to be there definitely going to watch this make this a special event have my pizza ready for it maybe some wings during each episode and then that way i'll get to enjoy it with everyone there and again tune in too i do foresee myself doing live streams for this event for each one of those episodes and then that way 
you and I will see it together. And then as the episode goes into commercial, just like last time I did it with the Halloween special, then I'll be able to then comment on everything that occurred and then we'll talk about it together. You'll post your own um, chats and so forth uh, that, that, that people were doing last time that worked out really, really well. So I'm super excited to be able to do something like this. And then who knows what will happen afterward with the museum once the uh, museum, once the whole lockdown situation is lifted because opening the Divic box, the whole thing is, of course, that that spirit is supposed to be very bad news for everyone surrounding that location. So who knows what that will happen to. One thing I was interested in that I didn't hear was stuff involving the demon house. I was surprised that that wasn't mentioned, but uh, who knows, maybe the article and everything that was given, the articles I was reading just didn't focus on that very hot spot. But I do, I don't, I mean, I, it would be hard pressed to think that they're not going to focus on the demon house and the artifacts that are there. So I would imagine that's going to be one in one of the episodes too. But anyways, just wanted to give everyone that quick update when it comes to this Ghost and Spirits News Edition. If anyone has anything else they wanted to share involving this upcoming experience, please post those comments below. Let me know. I'm definitely looking forward to it and I'll send reminders to everyone as the event becomes closer. So, all right, everyone. Thanks, and as always, take care.